chromium plating on vehicle wheel rims and electroformed jewelries. What do they have in common? Well, they both use a chemical process called electrolysis. In this video, we will explore electrolysis process in chemistry. Electrolysis is a method of separating a compound by passing an electric current through it. The reaction is otherwise non-spontaneous chemical reaction. The name electrolysis comes from Greek words electron, amber, which since the 17th century was associated with electrical phenomena, and lysis, meaning dissolution. Perhaps the most familiar example of electrolysis is the decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen by means of an electric current. First electrolysis was performed by William Nicholson and Anthony Carlyle in 1800. Using Alessandro Volta's recently invented voltaic pile battery, they immersed two electrodes into water and allowed electricity to flow. This caused the water to break down into its two components, hydrogen and oxygen. So, how does electrolysis work? Electrolysis is carried out in a vessel named electrolytic cell, containing two electrodes connected to a direct current source and dipped into a solution containing positively and negatively charged ions called an electrolyte. Once the power is on, electrons start flowing. It makes one electrode negatively charged, otherwise known as a cathode, the other electrode positively charged, otherwise known as an anode. This now has an effect on the electrolyte. Negative ions or anions in the electrolytes are attracted to the anode while the positive ions or cations are attracted to the cathode. When the ions reach their respective electrodes, they will be discharged by losing or gaining electrons and form neutral atoms. This means that at the anode, anions are discharged through loss of electrons, while at the cathode, cations are discharged through gain of electrons. The neutral atoms, if solid, is deposited and if gas, moves upwards. If you want to find out more about oxidation and reduction reactions, please watch my previous video, I'll post the link below. Where do we find electrolysis in real life? Electroplating. Electroplating is a process to coat an object to the required thickness with a select metal using electrolysis. Electroplating is done for many purposes. Metals that corrode easily are protected by coating them with a metal that does not corrode easily. Nickel and chromium are widely used in the automobile industry for coating. Electroplating is used in the manufacture of printed circuit boards, which are used in TVs, computers, etc. Electroplating is also used for decoration. Cutlery, statues, and jewelries made of cheaper metals are coated with expensive metals like gold and silver to enhance their look. The spoon, which is made up of inexpensive metal, is connected to the negative terminal of the voltage source and acts as the cathode. The anode, on the other hand, is a silver electrode. Both electrodes are immersed in silver nitrate solution. When a steady current is passed through the solution, silver metal is removed from the anode and deposited onto the cathode, the spoon. The mass of the cathode increases as silver ions from the solution are deposited onto the spoon. The quality of the object is usually determined by the thickness of the deposited silver and the rate of deposition. Electroforming Electroforming is a process of making a replica of objects using electrolysis. The object to be replicated is pressed in wax to make a mold. Then, graphite powder is coated uniformly to make it conducting. This is used as a cathode, and the salt of the metal to be deposited is taken as the electrolyte. After getting the required coating by electrolysis, wax and the graphite are melted away. The main difference between electroplating and electroforming is that electroforming creates a separate object, while electroplating deposits a layer onto an existing object. Refining of copper. Copper metal is fairly easy to obtain chemically from its ores, but by electrolysis, it can be refined and made very pure, 
up to 99.999%. Wow! Very pure copper is often required in the manufacture of electrical equipment. This is because copper's electrical conductivity is reduced by presence of impurities. An electrolytic cell for refining copper contains very pure copper at the cathode and impure copper at the anode and copper sulfate as the electrolyte. Now as current is passed through the solution, positive copper ions in the solution are attracted to the negative cathode where they take on the electrons and deposit themselves as neutral copper atoms and building up more and more pure copper on the cathode. Meanwhile, copper atoms in the positive anode give up electrons and dissolve into the electrolyte solution as copper ions. Overall, the only change that occurs in the cell is that copper atoms from the impure anode become copper ions in the electrolyte. Those copper ions are then plated out on the cathode. So any impurities in the anode are just left behind, and nearly 100% pure copper builds up on the cathode. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.